Hello everybody, Jet here, and a welcome back to my Malachi McKyson playthrough where, if you remember last time, we did make a small incursion into the uh, north, but I decided to fall back with the amount of forces around me as I'd taken a bit more damage than I intended. We are also moving Win Winfield uh, back over here to pick up Doomkeep and probably start a fight with a pretty boy over there. Um, we obviously swapped him my bestest units as well. So, oh, my bestest units, uh, my, my good units, you know, we, we, we threw in some really solid units there. Let's move right up to the board as we keep replenishment, then we're going to push straight into Doomkeep and uh, keep the pressure on that way. And we have got the old king, the old high king, who has uh, be, who has fled, fled north uh, after losing his hold, and um, yeah, we've uh, brought him into our, into our, uh, our um our, our pay and he is he he just dealt with a uh, helper he's gonna pop back over just to keep an eye on things and we are slowly building up this region slowly but surely building our economy there we go uh, we're currently on the mission to deal with chaos. Just too much going on here. I didn't want. I could have possibly won, but I didn't want to risk it. If you see what I mean. Um, I think being there would have been too risky for us. I want the money. I don't care about Cadron. We are going to get ashore here again um, to replenish. And especially as we've got the Never Chosen reappearing on the horizon there, so I need to pay attention to him. Let's march Winfield out. For the wisdom of Valea. Reclaiming the Doom Keep. In belts. More growth. There we go. I said usually I'd be pushing my capital much more, and I do want to push my capital, but I don't, they didn't actually take the port of secrets. I could have actually pulled into the port of secrets to replenish. Oh well. Uh, but daft as it sounds, they, um, you know, with my, um, let's delay the age. So this is what you'd want to do if you're in peace. I just wanted to see what happens. Summon me if you dare. The axe thirsts for war. Let's hop into here. To be fair, it's probably the wrong point to delay it. I'm going to head this way and I'm actually going to use the underway to get over this time. Retake the realms. Send me to vengeance. The High King acts. Not much. Uh, I'm going to allow the rebellion. Because putting it down will uh, help. So having a rebellion causes my public order to go up. Sorry, I've got a horrible grotty um, throat at the moment, so if I mute myself, it's probably because I'm coughing or spluttering. I am 
Now the question is It's not a question. I, I start on pretty boy. Cease. There we go, extra physical resistance. Let us begin. And then we double time down here to deal with that. What was the one I was really working towards? Are we, are we, oh, we did that for the uh, shield wall formation. Cause, yeah. Attention. But fuck my heroes a bit. That's kept dwarves alive. Up and over! <laughs> what of you? Absolutely not! Why can't I? Uh, uh, His old it. legs still got it. I'm worn out! Throw berries! Let's march! Keeping the economy going. Again, I probably shouldn't have delayed the age, but I wanted to see what would happen. I'm just going to abandon there for the time being. The wisdom of Valea. Hmm. Yeah, that one to buff my army. So we are going to move over to the Tower of Torment next, and from there we are probably going to try and obviously try and spread and take out on various forces there. I want to destroy the Ever Chosen and the Prince. I don't necessarily want to be up here in the north. It is a horrible place, but... Oh, and he's over there now. Of course he bloody is. I will take angry gods. Anyone know any shanties? No? Good. Chance I might have to turn around, but we'll see. Time for a reckoning for Clan Honor. To war. Ooh. Sorry, I hadn't, I'd forgotten I had some of these. Wait, I can do this with either army? Okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that. I clicked it and I was like, oh no, it is my main army. I was, I got myself confused there. I thought this was my other army, but no. So we are going to try this. This is going to be a hard fight to be fair, but, oh, I get to use my goblin hewers for the first time. I really should not be doing this when I've just crossed over, though we do get really good replenishment from doing this. But yeah, this is a really foolish thing for me to have done. Oh well. I really should have probably read the actual backstory, but you know. Those dark elf wazics aren't gonna know what's hit them. Whatever that black art throws at us, we'll crack their heads and send them packing back to Nagam. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. Right. For the Karazan Corps. 
Make everything explode which comes close to us. Okay, let's do this. Let's take that out to start with. Nice, solid hits. Nice, shredding that. I wish you could kind of set them so it did a constant sort of dook, 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 dook. How fast are these things? Not. <laughs> the flag is still on one of their units there, ah, and it's broken. So they are going to have another army come in, let me guess, it's going to be behind me. Reloading. Just looking how far. I'm going to swap to that. Using it early, so I get lots of ch multiple chances to use it potentially. Oh, yeah. Uh, shield wall. Shield wall. Increases my mass massively. My missile block chance, but we cannot run and run. But it means it's going to be really hard for anybody to do anything to us. They've not even got in range of my main deadly units yet. So reinforcements coming in. Lots of humans. So they're obviously flagellants. And some miners. Cool. Not that they're needed. We are shredding these guys. Oh crap. I thought I'd put one of these over there. There we go, we're engaging with this thing. Yeah, you do quite nice damage. Uh, reinforcements of a Black Ark have arrived. Okay. It's nice and easy to deal with. In fact, if anything... That puts us in a slightly better position with my cannons.
Let's bring her in! Hit the wall, Hydra! I command the spirit of Prudy. War machine ready. Rangers. Now, pick your target well. Our fire hold the team. Strike out. As soon as we can hit this thing, we're gonna hit it. Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Oh, let's pull them back. Oh, it's already breaking. Engage with the goblin hewers. Oh, so it's literally just a unit of slayers afterwards. Charge! Look at how much it makes their units just bounce. Hit those executioners. Pull back. I mean, oh, oh, they're behind us. Turn and face. And you guys over here, you're going to turn to them. Good, we broke them already. Gonna bring this flank around. It's over, guys. A little messier than I'd have liked, but I'm happy with that. Um, you know, we shredded. We absolutely obliterated. My cannons did all the work again. I think having a fourth cannon. The Goblin Hewers were fun. I mean, actually, I say that they were good. I honestly think an extra cannon would probably be more useful here. I'll stick with how I am for the moment, but I honestly think an extra cannon or two would be much more beneficial for us. I mean, long run, an extra a uh, couple of like um, organ guns or something like that different types of cannons though I say that whether everything's actually gonna beat cannons to shot Malachi McKaysen there's no hurry right what let us begin See, this is the problem now, is I've got them pushing from multiple directions. So we're going to fall back, but we'll see what happens and where they come from. A gift from Grigny himself. Uh, we're going straight to that one. What? Uh, you can go join this army. Please Not that I really I care about that. Throw 
I'm gonna say I should be able to buff here, build up here shortly. There we go, let's just get it done with that. To be fair, I shouldn't have done that because that means they can now move off. No, let's be honest, they were going to do that anyway. They were going to destroy it. I need to build my economy so I can have a proper third army going, guys. Because uh, once I've got that, I can defend my homeland. I can properly use Malachi as an expeditionary force as well. Ah, the Ever Chosen is heading towards me. That's good. It's not just not worth it for me for that small amount of money. For the wisdom of the Let's push into there. There we go. I will stay here. So how are we doing on this? Uh, still got to fight more battles up here. Got to kill enemies with organ guns, which I'm not getting a chance to do. The thing is, I don't have to do all these in one go. That's the other thing. And I can always start another adventure at the same time, which I think is quite cool. So this would buff the goblin, goblin viewers, give them Vanguard deployment. Stalk! Honestly, I'm... While they're fun, I'm not that fast. Dig in for flame cannons. Dig in is just a solid thing, that extra range. I mean, that's going to make them spectacular. Good. Grimnir's axe thirsts. There we go. Yay, unhappy populace. I'm on it. Engineer. I'm watching you, Archeon. Summon me if you dare. Save some money there. Thirst for war. There we go. Up, upping my economy again a bit. I, I could do growth as well, but, you know, it's tricky. It's tricky to get everything right. I'm just going to auto that. It, it, it's the Ever Chosen. It would have been fun to see if I could actually obliterate the Ever Chosen, but this way he can't retreat. Oh, nice. I what? Oof. We're getting into grudge territory. All right. So actually, that's really solid for us. Retake the I'm gonna pull back towards there. Time for a Start getting guns again. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna Show pull this way.
Give him a bit more range on his own attacks. I kind of want to take this region, but I need to... I'm probably going to push north to deal with the war host to start with. Because if we can wipe out um, Archeon, that's a major plus for us. It looks like uh, Daniel is having Dark Elf issues, which... Um, I can, I I can understand that not being something you want to be dealing with, because I don't want to deal with them. I'm probably gonna have to. I'm hit. I did say they were gonna come at me from another direction, didn't I? But look, I'm. Oh wow, we have a lot. Oh god. We are dwarves in amber stance. We're really, really good at hiding. We are honest. Extra growth for our. So yeah, we're gonna hit here and then push north. Send me to vengeance. The High King acts. Let's stop over there, actually. Why did they declare war on Pretty Boy? May regret that. Nah, not really. So the key thing here is to push into the far north and attempt to smash Archeon's fortresses. Because if we can clear him out quickly... Oh! Oh! Oh, we're fighting this. Oh, this is going to be glorious, guys. And they are fast. They do have some very solid units here. But this, as an ambush, is going to be spectacular. Especially if we've got good hills like it looks we have. Way. The Slayers can charge in there with a couple of heroes. Everything straight away. Okay, I, I did hit my own people a bit, but Stop! the amount of damage we're doing here is absolutely goddamn worth it. 
It is a reckoning. The next kill is ours. Cannon. Kill works. Get him. Yes, fold in, you fall back. Probably gonna pull my cannons out in a sec. line there is proving problematic for us. I want to get some support over this way. Spin! Get on the goddamn pretty boy! I've, I've, I've done most of his damage to myself. Take Bring them down. This swarm is fire. Nothing can stop us. Take to the air. This is just a pain because we've won. It's just defeating the... Um, Unbreakable units. I don't think I lost anything, though, as I said, most of that damage was done to myself. I could, should have probably tried to set up a bit better, but to be fair, what I should have done is set up in front of them and just created a kill box. Hindsight. I mean, still solid. 84, 85. That is a solid battle, guys. This poor unit hit devastated by our own cannons. They killed 205. I lost 205. I don't think they killed anywhere near that. That was fun, though. That is worrying. No. Anyway, guys, that is where we are going to leave this one for today. So please do like and subscribe if you are enjoying this. Uh, watch me cry at how much I've accidentally... I've given myself some fun to deal with. We'll see how we manage it. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And as always, an extra special thank you to my channel members and patrons. That is Monsterbound, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Brutaru, Gavin, Jason Eyre, Noobie One Kenobi, Scrin, Jared Horn, and Space Ace Seven, sorry, four seven five, and cheers all.